Welcome to In Progress, a podcast to help you grow and learn how to become a better version of yourself. Now, here's your host, Michael Cerigliano. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of In Progress. I'm your host, Michael Cerigliano. Today, we're going to talk about how to take your average life, all of you normal, average people, and turning you into the epitome of success. Now, I want you to pay attention to this video because this video is going to be most likely the most important video that you watch in your entire life because I'm going to break down all of the research that I've done from all of the people that I've watched, all my mentors, everything that they talk about, the common themes and all of that. And number one, is motivation does not exist. Motivation is a facade. Anybody who needs motivation to perform is a fucking loser. You cannot bank your success and your performance and your consistency on how you feel. And that's all motivation is, is just purely how you feel. If you wake up one day and you're tired You're not motivated to go to the gym. You're not motivated to go sell. You're not motivated to go to work. Then you don't do it. Well, there's somebody who's willing to do that. Somebody who's willing to get up feeling like absolute dog shit and still goes and gets the job done. And that's the person that is going to be successful time and time again. You can not become successful if you need motivation in order to perform a task. Regardless of what it is you're doing, if you bank on motivation, you will fail. Because you cannot possibly wake up every single day and be motivated to do what it is that you need to do. You need to make it a habit, you need to make it, you need to make it important because that's what your future banks on. You can't just sit there and hope that you're motivated the next day because you're going to wake up sick. You're going to wake up tired. You're going to go days without eating. You're going to be doing things that are going to that you can't be motivated doing because not everything is exciting. Not everything in this journey of success is exciting. And because of that, you're going to need something more than motivation. And that's called discipline. You need to be disciplined in what you're doing and you need to continuously be doing what you need to do regardless of how you feel. Motivation is an absolute facade. It's the biggest lie. And if you hope that you're motivated in order to succeed, I promise you, you will fail every fucking time without a doubt because motivation doesn't exist. Because when you start an endeavor, whatever it may be, you're excited. You're ready to go. Yeah, this is a new thing, so let's go get this. And then after a week, two weeks, three weeks, and you're not seeing the immediate results, all of a sudden you fall off. Oh, well, I I don't feel like it. Well, then you're never going to succeed. You're never going to succeed. I had this conversation with somebody earlier today. They were asking me how I keep doing the podcast even though I'm not viral yet and this and that. It's a grind. Everything that you do in life that is going to have any type of positive outcome requires you to grind and hustle. Now, this is by no means difficult, strenuous labor, but it is time consuming nonetheless. And if you think for a second that I wake up every day and I think to myself, oh, yay, I get to record again. Oh, yay, I get to create more content for my social medias. You're dead fucking wrong. Because there are days where I wake up and I don't want to do a goddamn thing. But you know what? I still do. And you know what? I continue to. And I see the results. The results are slow. They don't come right away. But just because you're not getting immediate gratification because you're some entitled little punk doesn't mean that it's not going to come. And not every endeavor is going to be the same pump and dump crypto success that a lot of people had a few years ago. Now it's time to work. It's time to really get down and work. And motivation is not going to be your key to success. It's going to be consistency. It's going to be discipline. You can not bank your future, your success, your children's future, your family's future on whether you wake up feeling motivated. That's an absolute crock of bullshit. 
and I need all of you immediately to stop waiting for motivation. Again, if you wait to be motivated in order to perform a task, you are a fucking loser. Simple as that. Simple as that. Now, to get off of that very aggressive topic, right? But we're going to stay on success, obviously. There was a, a video that broke down the enemies of success. And I, I, I feel as though it reigned true because these are, pre- these are pretty standard. And the thing is, with success, is the, the keys to success are not new. They're not foreign. They're not something that, that's being made up on the fly right now. The, the formula to success has been the same for years, forever, as long as humanity has existed. The keys to success have been the same. So the enemies of success, likewise, have always been the same. Now, enemy number one is your comfort zone. Now, your comfort zone, meaning the job that you have or the lifestyle that you lead, right, You need to be able to remove yourself from that knowing full well that you're not going to, you might not end up in an area that you like. You might not enjoy the journey that you take, but you want the outcome. You want that future. So you need to leave that comfort zone. If you're working a job right now that you don't hate, but you don't love, it pays you decent but not as much as you'd like it to. Well, that's a comfort zone. That is something where you know it could be better, but you know it could be worse. So it's the, uh, it's the old saying you'd rather have the, the thing that you know is bad rather than the thing you don't know that could be worse. Because the thing that you don't know could also be better. So if you're teetering, on the decision of leaving your job, of leaving your hometown, do it. Leave. Make that leap of faith because that is what's going to propel you forward. Staying in a job, in a relationship, in a town where you're seeing no growth, that isn't going to get you anywhere. And just because it's comfortable and it's nice and it could be worse, That doesn't mean you stay there. That doesn't mean that you just continue doing the same thing over and over and over again because you're not going to get anywhere doing that at all. Now, the second enemy of success is learned helplessness, that victim mentality, I can't do it. You have to get that out of your head now, ASAP. You can do it. You definitely can do it. It's not hard to do anything. In the time that we live in now, you have to go and Google something, watch a few YouTube videos, and you have a pretty good idea of how to do whatever the fuck it is that you want to do. And the mentality of, oh, I can't do it, is gone. You have the world at your fingertips. You literally turn on your phone, go on the internet, and Google how to whatever. And guess what? You will have a plethora of videos and blog posts and articles on how to do that thing. So why are you sitting there thinking you can't do it? Just because you want to have that victim mentality? Because you're comfortable where you are? Fuck that. Get up and go do what it is that you want to do. Do what you know that you were put here for. You were not put here to work a regular nine to five job. You were put here for more. You have more to offer. Stop being a victim. Become the go-getter that I know you can be. Become the go-getter that you know you can be. Be somebody that your parents will be proud of. Don't just mosey on through life, basically just, just getting by. That will get you nowhere. You will live a meaningless life and die for nothing. You have to find a reason to be going through life and become the best at it. That is the only way. You cannot be going through life doing nothing. 
You can not. That is the worst way to live. You have to be always doing something, making something, creating something, because that's what you're here for. And the third enemy of success is the people that like to take the path of least resistance. The path of least resistance, similar to the comfort zone, is the people that like to just go the e take the easy way out. The ones that, oh, I would go to the gym, but it's so far. I would go to the gym, but I don't feel like getting up. I would go, but I can work out at home. I can work out at home is probably the biggest bullshit ever. The, that is the biggest load of bullshit ever. You're at home and you're not fucking working out. You might take a few steps. You might go for a walk. And yeah, if you're first starting out in the gym, yeah, sure. That's a great step one. But if you've been to the gym, you should continue going to the gym. You need to be putting your body through strenuous activity at all times and continue growing and becoming one of those people that just makes the excuse of, oh, I don't feel like going. That's not going to get you anywhere. And that is what 90% of the population does, is they make that excuse, oh, I don't feel like... Well, what did we say at the beginning of the video? Fuck your feelings. Nothing, when it comes to success, has to do with your feelings. You perform regardless. You have to be the best version of yourself, and unfortunately, the best version of yourself is somebody who takes action regardless of how they feel. And that is the only way that you are going to succeed in life at all. Now, a lot of people, when going on the journey of success, they, similar to myself at the beginning, they don't have friends who are looking to succeed. They have friends who kind of, you know, just walk through life lazily. They do what they want. They live for the weekend. They don't really, they don't really care to put in that extra effort. And that was my friend group. Probably for the past eight years, 10 years. But if you want to really get serious about succeeding, about taking yourself to the next level, physically, financially, emotionally, whatever. You cannot continue being around losers. So the natural instinct is typically to become a lone wolf, to become that island where you're just by yourself, head down, hustling, monk mode. I don't talk to anybody. I don't do anything. And that's great and all, but you will not achieve success by yourself. You need like-minded individuals around you, motivating you, pushing you forward, helping you through obstacles and hurdles. Because with those like-minded individuals, they've either done it before, are on the same path as you, or can give you a little push in the back to continue going because this is not an easy journey, which is why it's called people that are doing this, that are part of this, are the top 1%. It's not easy. This, there's nothing easy about this. You're waking up early, going to bed late, putting energy into things and seeing no results immediately. This isn't easy at all. So you're going to need people that are on the same journey as you to push you forward. And being that lone wolf is not going to get you there. You need a group of like-minded individuals, a brotherhood of people, who are there for you, on that path with you, watching you, cheering you on, helping you through it. And some people to bounce ideas off of because when you start to succeed, you start to do more than just the one endeavor. You start to branch off into other endeavors. And that's where knowing these other people comes in. So you can't be full monk mode by yourself all the time. No socializing, no going out. No doing anything, just home, studying, sleeping, eating right, gym. You have to make time for other people, but they have to be people of quality. You're not going to find these people of quality at a bar 
blackout drunk at two in the morning. I promise you. It's possible, but it's highly unlikely. Highly unlikely. So you need to find where these people are and hang out with these people. Hang out around these people and become friends with these people. Get a, a band, a brotherhood of like-minded individuals around you to push you, to help you grow. Because without that, you're on your own and you will not succeed on your own. And if you do, by some chance, succeed on your own, it's going to take a hell of a lot longer than if you learn how to network and befriend those on the same journey as you. The same criteria that you have when looking for a significant other, when looking for friends now, you need to put that same criteria into this brotherhood that you're trying to cultivate because these are going to be the most integral individuals in your life. These are the people that are going to propel you forward and the people that you spend your time with, the people that you spend the majority of your time with, that's who you become. You are the sum of the five people that you spend your time with and make sure, make damn sure that those five people are people of quality. People who are willing to work regardless. People who understand discipline and consistency. Those are the people that you need to be around. And those are the people that you must find. Because being a lone wolf, though it's easy at the beginning to just say, fuck everybody, I'm gonna do it on my own, and then I'll show them. Yeah, great. But you could do it a lot quicker and a whole lot easier if you learn to cultivate the relationships that matter most. So that's what you need to do. You need to find these people. Stop being a lone wolf. Stop doing that monk mode bullshit that you see online. That's not going to get you anywhere. Now before you succeed, before you actually succeed, you're going to be tested. Regardless of the endeavor, regardless of what it is that you want to do, before you reach that apex or that next level, you're going to be tested and tested hard at that. You're going to, your, your willpower, your motivation is going to be tested. Whether it's losing money, losing your job, whether it's losing subscribers or all of your sales end up, your, your sales slow down to a trickle. That means you're on the right path. That means that you're on the right journey. But this test is to see how serious you are. To see if you really want to do what it is you say you want to do. So maybe you're in the gym and you're not seeing the results that you want. Well, keep pushing because all that means is you're doing the right thing and you need to keep working and keep working hard at that and you will start seeing the results. Maybe you have a business and your sales are down. Keep working, keep cold calling, keep door knocking and you will see everything flips because when you're about to catapult forward, you are getting pulled back. You will always be tested when it comes to success. You always will be tested. And your job as an entrepreneur, your job as a motivated individual, somebody who knows that they're on this earth for something more, you will be tested. And you need to make sure that you are 1000% in it. Because if you're not, your test that you get, you will fail miserably. And instead of taking one step back and 10 forward, you're gonna take 10 back and none forward. And you have to start all over again because you're not seeing the results you want as quick as you'd like. Like I said before, everybody's journey is different. Everybody's journey is different. So you cannot compare yourself to others and sulk that they're succeeding and you're not. Their body looks like what they want their body to look like and yours doesn't. Your genetics are different. Your circumstances are different. Your workouts are different. Your diet is different. You have to keep working because that's what you have to do. And there is no if, ands, or buts about that. Your journey on success, your journey in success is 
thousand percent based on how willing you are to continue working. You need to be 100% in it regardless of the results because the results will come with consistency and discipline. But the consistency and the discipline are the hardest parts of it. It's easy to do it when it's fresh and new. It's easy to do it when you see the results. The hardest part is doing it when you see no results at all. The hardest part is doing it when you see the opposite of the results that you want. That's when you're tested and you need to be 100% in it in order to succeed. And there's actually a verse in the Bible that I saw that perfectly depicts this sentiment. In Revelations 3.15 it says, I know that you are neither hot nor cold. I wish you were either cold or hot. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. Now, that is obviously referring to the love and passion toward God, but that also can be taken into the context of entrepreneurialism. That can also be taken into the context of physical fitness. That can be taken into any context because you cannot be wishy-washy and lukewarm and expect a result. You need to be either hot or cold. You need to either be doing nothing and by doing nothing, you will get so fed up with who you are and how you look and what you're doing that you will then move forward and start working. Or you need to be so headstrong and consistent and disciplined that you continue working even though there are no results. And because you continue working and you're disciplined and consistent, the results will come. So you need to make sure that on this journey of success, you do not slow down. You do not stop. You do not give up. You continue working. Discipline and consistency are the keys to success. But without those two things, you're guaranteed failure. It's guaranteed. So work hard and work all of the time. I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode. If you have any questions at all, feel free to comment or DM me. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on this video, and I'll see you guys next time.